Welcome back to the channel, folks, and assalamu alaikum once again from Karbala, Iraq. I'm continuing my trip in Iraq to visit the important and holy shrines located in this ancient land. If it's your first time visiting the channel, I do videos on airline trip reports and other travel adventures. So please hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the bell icon. The bell icon will notify you whenever I post a new video. Come with me today as we explore some key locations within the city on foot and its outskirts via bus. Our first stop takes us outside of the secure green zone to the Al Khamey tributary of the Euphrates River. This is said to be the spot where Hazrat Abbas came to fill the water skin with water for the thirsty children in the encampment. It is an important location as he never made it back to the camp and was martyred by the tyrant army. Beside this location is Maqam Imam Mahdi, the 12th and final Shia Imam whom Shia Muslims believe will return one day alongside Jesus. It is said that when Imam Mahdi comes for ziyarat of Imam Hussein, he comes here first, next to the river, and then walks to the shrine. As you can see, the inside is ornate and intricate with stunning details much like the Imam Hussein and Hazrat Abbas shrines in my previous videos. Even the lighting on the ceiling has exquisite details. After re-entering the Green Zone checkpoint, we make our way down Babi Sedra Road to our next spot, the location where Imam Hussein's son, Ali Akbar, was martyred. A heartfelt Marcia was recited. <laughs> After that, we proceeded through the narrow lanes to the location where Imam Hussein's six-month-old son, Ali Asghar, was martyred with a poisoned arrow. After a short break at the hotel, we proceeded to the location where both arms of Hazrat Abbas were severed from his body. It was eye-opening to see how the city has enveloped these sites over the last 1400 years. There is a plan underway to clear out many of the old buildings around the shrines to create an open area to accommodate the many pilgrims. This will also free up space around these alternate sites. Our next stop was the Khaimaga, or encampment location. This was where the tents of Imam Hussein, his family, and companions was located. A grand building has been built for pilgrims to come visit and pray.
That's all for today. Tomorrow, we hop on a bus and head to the outskirts of the city. Another bright and sunny day in Iraq as we set off north of the city. Soon we cross the mighty Euphrates River before pulling off onto a side road and across a small bridge to the shrine of Muslim bin Akhil's son, Muhammad and Ibrahim. These young boys were beheaded and thrown into the Euphrates River and are considered among the martyrs of Karbala. As we headed back to the bus, we saw many vendors selling dates. Dates are a key export of Arabian countries such as Iraq. We saw many date palms as we traveled to our last stop of the day, the shrine of Al Hur. Al-Hur was part of the tyrant army fighting Imam Hussein, but he changed sides and thus gained a special reverence in Shia tradition. He is regarded as the symbol of hope in repentance. I hope you enjoyed a busy couple of days exploring the sites around Karbala. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you.